Hey from Mike Strong here. In this video, we're going to teach you how to do a multi-text slide. This can't really be made into a preset, so this must be done in a proper tutorial how to do it and also the easiest way to do it. So let's start. So press the T tool here or press T on your keyboard and now go to the preset screen and click it on there once. Now type in the text that you want. So I am going to type in multi-slide text. And you're going to move this to be in the middle. So you see those two lines, so it's in the middle. And now we're going to change the color of this. I want this to be red. The reason for that is so I can use this as a guide. So now we're going to duplicate this text. We're going to select it here and now Command C and Command V or Control C and Control V. And now one, two, three. So we have four copies here. And we're going to hide two of them here. Now we're going to here and going to select the text here. And we're going to change the text source here, change the color to white. And now we're going to delete the slide text here. So we have the multi there. And this one we can go and hide and now to here to the next one and hide it text source also double click and change this also to white okay so now we're going to delete multi and text so like that and now don't drag it over to the text we are going to make it a little bit better we're going to uh, transform here and use the position here and just drag it over so that it's in place so like that and now go to the next one the last one this one we can hide this one unhide and also text source and also double click and change this to white press ok and also to transform and of course we're going to delete multi and slide here and also here using this parameter slide or move the text over so that it's in place and that's fine and now we have the free text here can unhide it and the top one we can delete so now we have the free separate text so that makes it easier and we're going to move them around the order should be multi on top and slide in the middle and there is a reason for this order and you will probably understand after i add the next effect so we're now going to add a crop so crop effect and just drag and drop it and we're going to duplicate this crop also control C control V two times so we have three times crop here and we're going to drag this so that's it's between here so you want it to be in this order here and now we're going to use the crop and we want to crop from the left side and just not cropping the text. So this one should just not crop multi and the next one should be just not cropping the slide. Make sure making it easier when you select the crop effect, you will see actually the frame where it crops. So now when we move this parameter, we can see the line where it just not crop the text and now when we move the text around we can actually see it uh, being cropped so let's move this one so we're going to transform here and when we move it you can see it's hiding between an invisible wall which is the crop let's reset this so here we are going to start animating so we're going to move the timeline to the front here and we're going to hold down shift arrow to the right once to go to five frames. Here we're going to 
click this stopwatch so it will be in this end position move back to the front here and we're going to change this parameter until the multi the word multi is hidden so there and we're going to drop down here so we're going to right mouse click on this and choose bezier and we're going to drag this so it's like this shape and now go to the next one so next one should be about starting from 10 frames so hold down shift arrow to the right two times and also from the slide here at the transform also hit this stopwatch to add a keyframe and move to the left once so hold down shift arrow to the left once and now also slide this parameter until this word is hidden and also drop down right mouse click on it change this to bezier drag this bezier so it's like that so when we play this we have that going on maybe actually this could come in a little bit slower hold down shift or going to just move this entire thing five frames further so it's not like quick too quickly so that's better so this also hold on shift arrow to the right three times so one two three and go to the final one so to the text drop it down also at transform click this stopwatch hold down shift arrow to the left once now move this parameter until the text is disappeared and now again here right mouse click and change the temp temporal interpolation to bezier drop this down move this bezier and now when we play this we have this multi-slide text going on so that was how to make a multi-slide text hope you guys found this a very useful video if you are new to this channel and want to see more upcoming videos please hit that subscribe button here below also make sure to hit that bell icon so you're always updated when i post a new video thank you guys for watching and i'll see you the next time bye bye